Yes, my viewers and subscribers, welcome to another episode of Jamaica Politics Uncovered. I want to talk to you guys about how they were able to cover up Melissa's murder. One of the most critical part of solving crimes and solving murders especially is to make sure that you have timely pathology report and autopsies done. In Jamaica, guys, we have had a problem with having and keeping enough pathologists to deal with the death rates in Jamaica. Guys, remember, we in Jamaica average about 1,500 murders per year. We have an average of about 400 deaths related to vehicular accidents. We have unknown numbers of suicides and also natural causes. These are all things that affect the way that Jamaica conduct pathology and autopsies. As we can see from about 2017, they added four more pathologists to what we had, which was two. We only had two around 2017-ish. And then over time, you know, people either leave because their workload is too heavy, migrate, and them something there. So now we're down to five. And I just showed you an article in 2023 January where they're saying that they need more pathologists. So what that has to do with Melissa? Melissa died on November 10th. It was reported in the newspapers on November 11th. Guys, under normal circumstances in most places in the world you can get back an autopsy within about 48 hours at the most maybe 72 hours but six weeks within a six week period people can tamper with evidence they can lie about what caused his death they can do a whole host of things to perverse the course of justice and to deny the victim justice so for six weeks jamaicans were under the impression that melissa died in her sleep and the person who gave the diagnosis of aneurysm is a blogger right and that has been circulating for six weeks the husband did not come out and correct anything or say listen guys there hasn't been any autopsy we don't know what is the cause Remember, I'm saying wasn't there at the house the night. So how would he have known how she died? He didn't know that because he said, he said he was not there. So for six weeks, we had her bedroom fully renovated. We had many people at her crime scene or after, you know, her body was removed. That's according to the blogger who diagnosed the woman, Right with the aneurysm and she has no training in pathology or autopsy so these are the things that occurred within six weeks and so much things are within six weeks no under no normal circumstances if jamaica system did our work right and if we cared about these things and cared about protecting victims in their death we would have had enough pathologists to be able to tell families and loved ones what caused their family members to be dead. Melissa didn't have that chance. Many other Jamaicans did not have that chance. Do you think that there are other Jamaicans who have died under these mysterious circumstances? And for the time that it takes to get back a pathology report, their crime scene, their death, their situation may have been tampered with and covered up just the same. This is not good at all. So the delay in the autopsy report, because normally if you do not have a pre-existing condition and you're just dead so, uh, an autopsy is going to be done. But within that six-week time, they're able to buy time to cover up they're able to buy time to make up their lies and their stories. And they're able to throw out doubts. And they're able to victimize and incriminate the deceased to make themselves get off. 
they're able to do all manner of things. Even this woman will come out, come talk. So she did the murder scene. And one watch the blood that come out her nose and she think, we thought, and I quote, we thought it was aneurysm. If the Jamaica system did properly set where them have enough autopsy and pathology experts, them could not talk them things there. From about two days after the woman dead, we don't know exactly what happened to the woman. Them couldn't renovate no bedroom, take out no tile, paint out no room and them something there. Them could not come, come send out blogger for control misinformation and disinformation. For come confuse people and for come take the heat off of them. The moment them come and talk about dead in a sleep, boom, two days later, we could have said no, only two wicked and murder. But no, for six weeks, the people were misled. The family members were misled that this woman died peacefully in her sleep. If there was no autopsy done, how can people come say the lady died in her sleep? And they were so confident that she died in her sleep and that it was an aneurysm. And they never sought to correct the record to say, guys, we have not done an autopsy. We don't know whether it was an aneurysm. The husband who was supposed to be her protector let that rumor linger out there for six weeks. Now, how can the people not suspect him? Maybe the police hasn't suspected him yet, but the people certainly do. But you know what? Jamaica must clean up their act. Clean up their act by staffing these labs in Jamaica to make sure that when members of the public, Jamaican citizens die, they can get a timely autopsy done. This should teach Jamaica a very serious lesson. Keep it locked here, guys, to Jamaica Politics Uncovered. We will keep following this story. Take care.